I just killed Corkscrew. He died 50 yards away from me. All my friends are still talking about drugs, saying feels like heaven come and feel like us. It just, just starting to break daylight and my cell cam just went off about 150 yards away. The big six is hitting it, so he's in this woods. Give it about five more minutes, get a little more camera light, and I'm going to let out a couple grunts. I can hear him making a scrape right now. Alright, I'm going to get ready. Hopefully he comes over this way. Corkscrew. That's corkscrew. <gasps> He's down right there. Oh my god. I just freaking killed Corkscrew. Three, three years. I've been hunting that deer. Oh my god. Oh my god, I don't know what to say. He's... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm speechless. I've had so much history with that deer. And I just shot him at 12 yards. I had a hard time getting the camera on him. He was so quiet, I couldn't move. He come from right downwind. And I just killed him. He died right there. I gotta call Dad. I'm sorry to ruin your hunt, but I just killed Corkscrew. I just killed Corkscrew. He died 50 yards away from me. I just killed Corkscrew. Oh my god. Uh, no, no, that was the big six point corkscrew come from directly downwind behind me. I shot him in the exact spot I shot the six point, well, five yard difference. I cannot believe that just happened. Oh my god. I'm speechless. Holy cow, that. Alright, well, you kill one now too. I'm gonna sit and just watch everything. Alright, good luck. I... Three years, four years, I don't even know right now. I have a shed from the first year I've, I had him on camera. And, uh... The next, I had him at 15 yards out of this stand. 20 yards and I couldn't get a shot. I might puke. And uh, the next year, he blew up. And my friend, my best friend, shot him in the shoulder. And we couldn't find him. And he come by me three days later. I didn't get any footage of it. 
year after that, he didn't really grow. And this year, he went a little downhill. But he gained wicked brow tines and uh, mass. This stand has been so good to me. I can't, he's dead right there. I'm gonna watch it. I won't just, I'm gonna sit here and just take it all in. Holy cow, that is awesome. Four years, three years, whatever, I don't know. To a 12 yard shot. Oh, I'm pumped. All right, I'm gonna make some calls. I still feel like I'm going to puke, but uh, it's, um, it was three years ago to the day Brian hit him. So that makes it four years I've been hunting this deer. And uh, this year, he, body size and rack size, he went, he went downhill. Um, he's maybe 120, 125 inch deer this year. I don't know if he got sick over the winter, but uh, four years puts that deer about five and a half years old, and uh, it's it's Halloween. This has always been my favorite day of the year, always. And he was just he was cruising, looking looking for love. Uh, last night I had my number one shooter on the other property at 16 yards and I couldn't get a shot. He's actually very similar to the corkscrew, uh, just a little heavier. And uh, couldn't get a shot. Those he was following kind of busted me. And they walked away the other way and he chased them off. So I was kind of upset after last night, but I knew this was gonna be a good morning. And uh, now I'm tagged out right at the beginning of the best part of the season but luckily my little brother my dad and my girlfriend still have tags so I won't miss any action in the woods we spent a lot of time right here on this scrape this year hundreds of pictures of him well not hundreds but a lot just walking out I'm gonna go eat some breakfast and meet up with dad Oh, this time of year. Brian's just about here. That, that's Casey right there. He wanted to stop to see the deer. Oh, anyways. So, Brian's mm -hmm. just about here. We're gonna head out. Finally get my deer. Been waiting for him to finish his hunt up. I told Dad to finish his hunt up this morning. But he didn't want to wait. He wanted to, <laughs> He was too excited. <laughs> We've been hunting this deer for quite a few years. So, and no, he, he saw one last night. I was thinking it was this deer, but he says it's not said it's bigger so we're gonna try and make as little disturbance as possible in the woods because we're probably gonna hunt there tonight he is and Connor is so we'll see we're out to the stand I left all my stuff minus my bow up in the tree we're gonna walk in grab my arrow and just I'm gonna follow the blood trail anyways I don't need to but I'm gonna I'm going to go on where's your broadhead go? Get him. Man, he stinks. I can smell his hawks. Yeah, don't shoot whackers, you say. Terrible blood trail. Remember, it's going to create an exit wound to the top of the floor. It's going to create an exit wound. I'm joking. Have you looked at the blood? Yeah. yeah. <laughs>
here he is. Four year quest finally ended. I, I'm still speechless now that I've up and holding him. But, uh. I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's, he, he definitely went downhill a little bit this year. He's still got this strong side, which he's always had. But he gained it in his brow tine. His brow tine's got to be six inches long. He carries his mass all the way through. And, he, and yeah, he definitely carries that mass all the way through. Brian, come here. <laughs> Big body. <laughs> so Brian, <laughs> Brian, he, uh, he, oh, I'm bloody. He hit this deer right here two years ago and was heartbroken, obviously. Oh, he was I think he was bigger two years ago than this the year. Brow times were definitely not that big. But um as he, he I think he's five and a half this year and he, he went downhill. I think he, he was either injured last year or over the winter and he didn't put he lost a lot of weight and he obviously he didn't get back all his his inches in his antler, but he made up for it in character. Yeah, and his mass, so he and definitely his, yeah. carries it all the way through. Dad, Connor. Mm -hmm. And, uh, couldn't do without these two. Connor, every night I get home, he asks if I got one. And finally this morning I was able to tell him I did. Dad, he's been hunting this deer with me and Brian for the past three years. So it's a long story, and it's finally come to an end. Super, super excited.